the abdication of the Queen of Denmark in favour of her son, uh, Frederick, Frederick, is perhaps something that will put pressure on King Charles to consider abdication in favour of his son, William, particularly given the news that's come out today, the specific news that's come out today about Prince Andrew and the various parties with underage uh, people being pressured into liaisons with older and more um, more 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 more, more uh, exposed celebrities, uh, celebrity status. It's celebrity comes with responsibility, not with a license to uh, party and to play havoc with morality and ethics. And so. The fact that Prince Andrew was being driven to church, um, I believe, by Prince William. The fact that Prince Andrew was being seen in public and there were efforts to rehabilitate him makes the argument for, uh, I think, some sort of abdication, some sort of arrangement. Foreign newspapers are already talking about it. There's a newspaper that says that an emergency meeting was convened and that uh, Prince William said, well, wait until my, my son George is old enough, has come of age. Don't, don't throw this at us at this stage. Not ruling it out. But where did they get that information from? Is it just speculation or is something genuinely leaking, but not in the British press? And the idea, I'm afraid, that this could all be smothered over with a few million pounds. Unfortunately, that taints the, uh, the family even further. This is a shocking series of revelations. And yet all the, all the hatred is being piled up on Prince Harry and his wife in the hope that the Andrew situation disappears or gets ignored in all the barrage of nastiness. This is a family that ought to get its act together. And the first thing it should do is restore peace between the King, William and Harry. And then it should put Andrew out of the way and absolutely out of the way. I think he should be sent to another country and pensioned off and be done with it. The royal family knows how to do that. That's what they did with the, um, with the Duke of Windsor. And the Duke of York should follow suit. It's exactly the same situation. This is an embarrassment that should be distanced. And Prince Harry is not an embarrassment that should be distanced. Uh, he's perhaps been foolish. And the newspapers can be briefed and can be... Uh, expected to say, well, look at the difference between the Duchess of York and Prince Harry. The Duchess of York has had 30 years in the wilderness and she's never, she's never said anything against the royal family. Prince Harry, just a matter of a few months out in the cold and he's blabbering. Well, Prince Harry, I'm afraid, is of the blood royal. Prince Harry is, um, is the brother of the future king, just as Andrew is the brother of the present king. And Prince Harry has done far less harm than Prince Andrew. But loose cannons and all that sort of stuff, I think the games the PR people are playing uh, with this family's very, very brittle understanding of reality the games the PR people are playing are monstrous. And it's time somebody got, um, got the family together and did some firm talking and got some firm decisions and built some bridges and put some people out to pasture. The wrong person is out in the cold at the moment.